This is Memorial Day weekend and we are going on another great adventure and this will be a lot of first things for for both of us in different ways so for me it's going to be my first time using um, my kayak and it's going to be the first time in this area for both of us actually we're going to Kinney Reservoir which is in Alpine County and it's about three and a half hours from my house so it's really not so bad and the reason we're going so far is because there were so many areas that the lakes were still closed um, or no fishing or no camping or the roads were closed we couldn't get in so we came up with this uh, location and we'll see what we'll find and this will be interesting because we're going from summer back into the winter it's going to be under 30 degrees at night so that's going to be super cold so we're bringing my canvas tent and my wood burning stove I was going to bring my heater but I don't know if it's going to work in such cold temperatures at such high elevation it's about what 8,000 feet 7? 8,500 the stove is foolproof and <laughs> and that will be perfect so we have lots of wood for that um, we're gonna do a little bit of creek fishing so there's three lakes three parts to Kinney lakes there's upper lower and then the Kinney reservoir yeah we're just gonna have fun it's gonna be our first time out on the water so safety first we have flotation My first time on the water on the kayak oh yeah yes, on the kayak. in a alpine lake so she's been on the water many times very experienced with all the outdoors but <laughs> stop <laughs> I have a fish cat, twin pontoon Kevlar, uh, be the nine streamer. Uh, we have fish finder, we have everything. So, And Misha's going to be on that boat because ideally I would like her to be on my kayak eventually behind me, I guess. That's the only place she could fit and I don't think she's going to do that. So she's going to go on his boat and he can deal with her. Oh, and um, oh, so we have about three hours before the sun goes down or before it gets dark and we'll be there in a half an hour so I think we have enough time to find a spot and set up everything and not rush this is exactly how I like it so the area is beautiful we were already seeing snow and it's it's very pretty I love exploring new places so no matter what happens, I know we're going to have fun. We have a Friday evening, which is right now, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, pretty much all day. So this will be really cool.
My goal would be to have Misha sit in my kayak, either behind me or in front of me. But this being my first time on my kayak, I didn't want to risk it. So the goal was to have her sit on the boat. And there's some room behind the seat, but as you could see, it was just not happening. Poor dog didn't know what we wanted to do. And there were, you know, fishing equipment and fish finder and all kinds of different things. So it just didn't look like it would actually work out. So she ended up staying in the truck. We had no other choice. I mean, she's a dog. She could handle it. And we went on riding the kayak and the boat and try to find some fish. This was an amazing day. It was just so beautiful to have this lake among the snow-capped mountains. The water was ice cold, so if I would have fallen in it, I would have probably gotten a heart attack, so that was a little bit scary. But the kayak felt so comfortable. I really loved it. The only thing is I could not catch a fish. I have tried everything. At one point, I actually had a few trout right next to me under my kayak. I could actually see them, and they would just not touch the bait and I had tried different things and I was getting a little bit frustrated. I get impatient when I fish if things are not happening, but it was really, really amazing either way. And then as the day went on, that little ice area, that little um, strip of ice actually closed in on us and we couldn't get out. I mean, we had to break through the ice and it took us actually 45 minutes. So Paul was trying to go at it for about, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes. And then I actually went in front because my kayak is um, actually skinnier. So it was easier to get through. But either way, it was a lot of hard work, but still fun. It was just something very different. Never seen that before. But he did catch about, I think, five fish. That was the limit. So he limited out. And that was that was a good day of fishing overall.
Monday morning, I decided to practice my bow. I already have my archery tag for deer season, so I'm pretty serious about actually going deer hunting, um, doing archery, and I need to start practicing every day. I also got these broadheads from Vantage Point Archery and wanted to try them out to see if they shoot the same way and how they penetrate and everything, and I was pretty happy with it. I will definitely practice with them a little bit here and there. I was told before that your broadheads might fly differently than your field tips. I was also told that it shouldn't make a difference. And when I tried these, they actually uh, made contact with the target pretty much in the same area. So that's good news. And I was overall very happy. I also got these... Um, small game broadheads so that will be good for me to practice on rabbits and squirrels of course the only thing I shoot is something that I would eat as always I also wanted to try putting Misha in my kayak just one more time. We actually tried it Saturday after we were done with fishing just for 5-10 minutes, just right along the bank, and she was okay. And now I wanted to do it without any fishing equipment, just me and her with no distractions. And it was very clear right away that she could not sit behind me. There is actually more room, but I couldn't control her. I wouldn't even know what she's doing. So she sat in front of me and she was fine. I mean, it was a lot of work. I had to keep praising her and keep telling her to sit and stay. And this was constantly going on. And when she stood up, it was just a little scary. I mean, the kayak started wobbling. I mean, it felt okay, but I knew if she jumps over to that water, I will end up in the water as well. But overall, it was great. As long as the water is really calm and there are no waves, I think she'll be okay. So I will try it on my next trip. It will be warm. I won't have to worry about ice cold water. So I think there is some hope. So what do you think of the trip, Mariana? Well, I think it was overall pretty good. Um, first of all, this was a place we haven't been to before. So with that, you have to expect lots of, you know, potential problems and things like that. And we actually didn't have any. We found a great campsite. Everything was great. We saw some beautiful scenery. We did a great hike. We fished. I didn't catch anything, but I learned a few new things um, that I didn't know before. So that was pretty cool. And my main thing was the kayak. That was my first time on my kayak. And it was everything I expected it to be. I felt safe, it was fun. I feel like I can handle it. And Misha was on it. And I didn't think she actually could make it. So I think there's hope that maybe I can take her sometimes just in the kayak, no fishing. And I think that was it. That I remember. <laughs> Overall, it was a great trip. Uh, we got to explore some new lakes in the area. There's streams. Um, still a lot more to explore. Hopefully, I head there in a couple of weeks and uh, just check out some different areas, mainly towards uh, Mono Lake area down that side of the hill on the Highway 4, just to see what's on the eastern side. But uh, it was a great weekend, lots of fun. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time.